this is the x coordinate x naught when v y has become v naught. This is what we are trying to find. Hello students, today we will do a question on magnetic field basically uh, magnetic force on a moving charge particle and this particular question can be regarded as a difficult question. Yes, it is a difficult question. Let us see how many of you can do it. Uh, the question goes like this. The question says a particle having mass small m and charge q is projected from the origin with velocity v naught i cap. There is a particle having mass m and charge q. It is projected from origin in positive x direction with speed v naught in a non-uniform magnetic field. The magnetic field is not uniform. It is minus v naught x k cap. So, the magnetic field is in negative z direction that is first thing and the second thing is the strength of magnetic field goes on increasing as the x coordinate goes on increasing. So, if I take this as x axis, this as y axis, then the particle has been thrown this way that is one thing. Magnetic field is in negative z direction, so it is inwards, but the point is the magnetic field goes on increasing as you move along the x axis. On this particular line or in this particular plane, magnetic field has got one value. If x is fixed, magnetic field is fixed. But when you move from here to here on this particular line, the value of magnetic field has changed because x coordinate has changed. So, the magnetic field strength is increasing as you move along the x axis. V naught, V naught are positive constants of proper dimensions. Okay, done. Find the maximum positive x coordinate of the particle during the motion. So, if I project a particle from here in this direction, then what will be maximum x coordinate of the particle? That is the question. I am getting out of this screen. You can capture the question and give it a try. Give it good uh, 5 10 minutes. Uh, the mathematics required is a bit tricky and you need to think about it properly. Here goes my solution. Uh, the first thing that we need to notice is that the particle will move in x y plane only right because the magnetic field is perpendicular to plane of this diagram it is in z direction and the velocity is given in x y plane only it is along the x axis. So, if the magnetic force is perpendicular to plane of the board and velocity is in x y plane force applied by the magnetic force uh, the magnetic field on the particle is also in x y plane force magnetic force is always perpendicular to magnetic field. So, the magnetic field is like this or like this in that case force acting on the particle remains in this plane only. So, the velocity of particle is in this plane and force acting on it is also in this plane. So, obviously, the particle is going to stay in x y plane. So, particle is not going to have any component of motion in z direction it will stay in x y plane that is one vital thing that we should take note of. Another fact is its speed will never change as magnetic force is always perpendicular to the instantaneous velocity. I hope all of you know this that if a charge particle is moving under influence of a magnetic force then its speed never changes magnetic force, ne uh, magnetic force never performs any work on the particle magnetic force is always perpendicular to velocity of the particle. So, its speed will remain v naught though the direction of velocity will keep on changing but the magnitude of velocity that is the speed it is not going to change. So, particle is moving in x y plane particle will have a fixed speed, but the particle will not move in a circle as the magnetic field is not of constant magnitude. The speed is changing is it no speed is not changing magnetic force is changing yes it is changing because magnetic field strength is changing at the as the particle moves in the x direction the strength of magnetic field is changing. So, magnetic force is changing, speed is not changing, but the force is changing. So, particle cannot move in a circle of fixed radius. For moving in a circle of fixed radius, if speed is not changing, then the required centripetal force is always mv square by r. It should have a constant magnitude, but here the magnitude of force is changing because b is changing. So, obviously, particle cannot move in a fixed circle the path is not circular that is the another thing another key thing that we should notice here. 
and then uh, at the instant x coordinate of the x coordinate of the particle is maximum its x component of velocity will be 0 and y component of velocity will have magnitude v naught very good this work particle ka x coordinate maximum hoga aapne x direction of particle ko fake diya wo kuch aise path ke upar chal raha hai to jis samay uska x coordinate maximum hua means x direction mein usne aage badhna band kar diya x direction mein uski velocity zero ho gayi for a moment us waqt jis samay x direction mein uski velocity zero ho gayi uski puri velocity y direction mein hogi v not kyun kyunki abhi abhi hum bar bar keh rahe hain ki bhai velocity ka magnitude to nahi badlega puri velocity to uski v not hi rahegi ab x direction mein usne badhna band kar diya vx zero ho gaya to vy ki value v not ho gayi to particle maximum x coordinate pe hoga jab vy ki value v not hogi ऐसा एक प्रॉपर सा डायग्राम मैंने यहां पे बना दिया है दिस पॉइंट ऑफ फ्रॉम वेयर द पार्टिकल हैज बीन प्रोजेक्टेड इट हैज बीन प्रोजेक्टेड विद सम स्पीड वी नॉट लेट अस से दिस इज द पाथ ऑन व्हिच इट इज मूविंग एट पॉइंट क्यू इट्स वेलोसिटी बिकम्स पैरेलल टू वाई डायरेक्शन इट इज इट इज वी नॉट एंड दिस इज द मैक्सिमम एक्स कोऑर्डिनेट बिकॉज़ टिल नाउ पार्टिकल वाज हैविंग सम वेलोसिटी इन एक्स डायरेक्शन सो इट वाज मूविंग इन एक्स डायरेक्शन एडवांसिंग इन एक्स डायरेक्शन but right now uh, vx has become zero so it has stopped moving in x direction which means the entire velocity is in y direction okay now consider some intermediate point right the particle is somewhere at p and its speed is v not velocity is tangential to path magnitude of velocity is v not and let us say coordinates of the particle is x comma y at this particular instant the magnetic force acting on the particle is somewhat like this perpendicular to velocity of course b is inward so v cross b this is the direction of force perpendicular to velocity right so p is an uh, i'm so sorry just a moment just 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 a moment yes ah so p is an intermediate point having coordinates x y the magnetic force on the particle at p will be given by i have written it in uh, cartesian coordinate system so the magnetic force can be written like this q velocity right now velocity is like this let me write it in components vx i cap plus vy j cap so let us say velocity at this instant has two components vx and vy so velocity is vx i plus vy j cross product q v cross b and the magnetic field is minus v not x k cap remember magnetic field is not constant it is changing with x coordinate so if the coordinate of the particle is x this is the strength of magnetic field so if you do the necessary cross product i think all of you can do it um, you have to do it like this i cross k then j cross k you'll get two terms if you do the necessary cross product this is what you get okay what does it mean actually when the particle is at this point and it is having this velocity uh, the force acting on the particle has got two components this is the component of force in y direction and this is the component of force in x direction so component of force in x direction can be written as mass of the particle into component of acceleration in x direction this is what i have done mass times ax ax is dvx by dt so mass of the particle into rate of change of x component of velocity mass into x component of acceleration will be equal to x component of force right similarly mass into y component of acceleration dvy by dt this will be equal to y component of force this is equal to y component of force i hope you are getting me till now uh, i have done nothing force is q v cross b i have assumed that at any point velocity is vx i cap plus vy j cap that's all so just do the cross product you get force as this much i cap and this much j cap so obviously uh, mass times x component of acceleration is equal to x component of force and similarly mass times y component of acceleration is equal to y component of force this is what i have written here and we have to find remember we have to find x coordinate of the particle at the instant vy becomes equal to v not the moment vy becomes equal to v not at that instant vx is zero 
so when when v y becomes equal to v naught what is the value of x that is that is what we wish to find and this second equation that i have written here it involves two quantities which do interest us it involves v y and it involves x and we are trying to have a sort of relationship between v y and x when v y becomes v naught what is the value of x right that is that is what we are trying to find out so this particular equation involves v y and x so let us try to play with this particular equation what i am going to do is but i do not want time in my equation right so i am going to use chain rule of differentiation and i will write it as dvy by dx into dx by dt what am i saying i will write it as dvy by dx into dx upon dt if you do that then you can see a miracle happening actually <laughs> mass times uh, in fact i have transferred mass on this side so dvy by dt has been written as dvy by dx into dx by dt right now there is a miracle dx by dt is nothing but vx so this vx and dx by dt cancels out and now you are left with a relationship which only has vy and x and that is what you wanted so looking at this equation carefully and doing this manipulation is essential to solve this problem uh, i repeat look at this carefully dvy by dt is dvy by dx into dx by dt dx by dt is vx so dx and vx uh, dx by dt and vx cancels out and therefore this is what you get i have written dx by dt as vx and then i have cancelled out vx in the next step so this is dvy by dx is q v not m x now you separate the variables and integrate just move dx on this side and do the integration if you do the integration be careful about your limits when x is 0 uh, y component of velocity is 0 particle was initially projected from origin and it was given a velocity in x direction only there was no y component of velocity originally so when particle is at x naught v y becomes v naught this is the x naught that we are willing to find this is the x coordinate x naught when v y has become v naught this is what we are trying to find so we will integrate it like this from x changing from 0 to x naught v y changing from 0 to v naught and that's all you just do the necessary simplification and you get the value of x naught so this is the maximum x coordinate that the particle is going to attain i hope uh, the solution is neat and clear and you have understood this please like the video and please forward it to your friends that will motivate me a lot thank you see you in the next video